Nephrocalcinosis is a complex condition involving calcium crystal deposition in the kidneys. Understanding its causes and effects is important for diagnosis and treatment. This video will cover various aspects of nephrocalcinosis, providing insights into its development, diagnosis, and treatment options. Nephrocalcinosis is primarily driven by the formation and retention of calcium crystal deposits within the renal tissue. This topic delves into the underlying processes that contribute to the development of these deposits. We will explore the key molecular and cellular pathways involved in crystal nucleation, growth, and retention. By understanding the intricate mechanisms driving crystal deposition, we can gain insights into potential therapeutic targets for preventing and treating nephrocalcinosis. Familial nephrocalcinosis refers to cases where the condition is inherited through genetic mutations. This advanced topic focuses on the genetic basis of nephrocalcinosis, particularly in familial cases. We will discuss the specific genes and mutations implicated in the development of familial nephrocalcinosis. Furthermore, we will explore how these genetic abnormalities impact calcium handling within the kidneys, shedding light on the underlying pathophysiology of familial nephrocalcinosis. Renal tubular acidosis, RTA, is a disorder characterized by impaired acid-base regulation in the kidneys. This topic explores the relationship between RTA and the pathogenesis of nephrocalcinosis. We will examine how alterations in acid-base balance can lead to changes in calcium handling within the renal tubules, eventually contributing to the development of nephrocalcinosis. Understanding this association is crucial for identifying RTA as a potential risk factor and managing nephrocalcinosis in affected individuals. Accurate assessment of urinary calcium excretion plays a vital role in diagnosing and monitoring individuals with nephrocalcinosis. This topic focuses on the various methods used to evaluate urinary calcium excretion in nephrocalcinosis patients. We will explore the role of 24-hour urine collection, spot urine calcium to creatinine ratio, and other tests in quantifying urinary calcium levels and determining the severity of nephrocalcinosis. Understanding these diagnostic techniques is essential for proper management and monitoring of the condition. Renal biopsy provides valuable insights into the histopathological changes associated with nephrocalcinosis. This topic discusses the characteristic findings seen on renal biopsy in nephrocalcinosis patients. We will highlight the presence of calcium deposits within the renal tubules and interstitium, as well as associated changes in the surrounding tissue. Understanding these histopathological features aids in confirming the diagnosis of nephrocalcinosis and guiding appropriate management strategies. Accurate visualization of calcium deposits and assessment of their severity are crucial for monitoring the progression of nephrocalcinosis. This topic explores the various imaging modalities utilized for this purpose. We will discuss the utility of radiographic techniques such as X-rays, ultrasound, computed tomography, CT, and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, in visualizing calcium deposits and evaluating their extent. Familiarity with these imaging techniques is essential for accurate diagnosis and monitoring of nephrocalcinosis. Calcium sensing receptors, CASRs, play a crucial role in regulating calcium balance within the kidneys. This advanced topic focuses on the role of casures in influencing the reabsorption and excretion of calcium in renal tubules. We will explore the signaling pathways involved and their potential implications in the development of nephrocalcinosis. A deeper understanding of casures' role can help identify novel therapeutic targets for managing nephrocalcinosis. Primary hyperparathyroidism, PHPT, is a condition characterized by excessive parathyroid hormone levels. This topic explores the relationship between PHPT and nephrocalcinosis. We will discuss the mechanisms by which elevated parathyroid hormone levels affect calcium homeostasis and contribute to the development of nephrocalcinosis. Additionally, we will explore management strategies that aim to address both conditions simultaneously. Analyzing the composition of renal stones provides valuable insights into the pathophysiology and appropriate treatment strategies for nephrocalcinosis. This topic focuses on the importance of identifying the types of crystals present in the stones obtained from nephrocalcinosis patients. We will discuss the techniques used to analyze stone composition and how this information guides treatment decisions and preventive measures. Preventing the recurrence of nephrocalcinosis is a significant challenge. This advanced topic examines emerging therapeutic targets for achieving this goal. We will explore potential pharmacological interventions and innovative approaches aimed at inhibiting crystal formation and enhancing renal calcium handling. Understanding these novel therapeutic targets is crucial for developing more effective treatment strategies for nephrocalcinosis. Nephrocalcinosis can occur in pregnancy due to hormonal and physiological changes that disrupt calcium balance. This topic explores the pathophysiology and clinical implications of nephrocalcinosis during pregnancy. We will address the hormonal and physiological factors contributing to calcium imbalances and the potential impact on maternal and fetal health. 
Understanding these complexities is crucial for managing nephrocalcinosis in pregnant individuals. Familial nephrocalcinosis has significant implications for genetic counseling and prenatal care. This topic focuses on the importance of genetic counseling and prenatal diagnosis in families with a history of familial nephrocalcinosis. We will discuss the challenges and ethical considerations involved in genetic testing and counseling, as well as the potential implications for family planning and prenatal care. In conclusion, nephrocalcinosis is a complex disorder involving crystal deposition in the kidneys. Diagnosis and management require detailed knowledge of its causes, genetics, and related clinical conditions. We have covered these aspects to provide a comprehensive understanding.